Hello and welcome to Wonder VT number 25 and in this video I'll be teaching you how to uh, use a lamp or any other light source uh, to cast a texture onto an object. Uh, in this case I'll be using this plane I've made or whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and select the lamp and just bring it down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to minimize the rendering size to about 50% so we can see it quicker. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I have no material added to this. I'm just going to exit out of that. Select your light. Go down to your materials button and your light uh, button down here. I'm just going to set the energy value up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to add a new texture, and this is where you can. This is where you add your texture and go to your uh, textures panel and. Add uh, whatever type you want. I'm just gonna add a magic in. It's a really cool looking. Set the depth up, turbulence, whatever you want. And if you go hit F12 again, you'll see that your light has casted that texture onto the object. All right, we can get nice patterns without uh, adding it to this. And just note that whatever angle the light is at. This is the angle that the uh, shadow is going to be casted. So just remember that. And you can also do a texture on your object. Okay, you can add a texture to that. And they won't. Uh, I'll just let you see what it looks like. I'll uh, change this to a different one that won't work as well. Alright. We'll see what happens here. Now you can see the wood, which is right here, these lines that travel along uh, this oblique angle. And now we can see it's uh, traveling along this angle too. Okay? It's almost like a 70s texture looking thing. Alright. So we've got this. And we have our light. We can also add uh, another lamp. I'll just make this a spot lamp. Doesn't matter what it is. Alright, I'm going to add it from this side and give it a texture too. And I'll give this one a different one, marble. Just kind of change this up a little bit. Alright. And one more time. See the difference. Alright, so now we have three layers of textures. This side we have our spotlight and we can see the uh, whatever that was I just added in there. I think it was saw or something. And now we can see the uh, magic, the lamp over here has the magic texture and then the wood which goes along the entire thing. Alright, this is uh, really useful for uh, putting, using a lamp to texture an alpha object. So if we were to make this an alpha of zero, okay, and it Z transparent. Also go to your map too. Uh, I'll do, I'll tell you what I'm doing here later. All I did though was just brought down the alpha to zero, hit Z transparent, and go select your texture and go to map two and hit alpha, and this will put your texture over the alpha. So your object is gone, all you can see is alpha. So we render this. Now you can see that we have our multiple textures coming in. Alright. Uh, this is useful because wherever the uh, saw is, is where our light is going to hit it. So that's where our texture is going to be. If we had just tried to uh, put all the textures on here, we have this all would be visible the entire object to be visible instead of just these saw lines. Alright, thought you might find that uh, useful. Uh, you can also select the uh, object, okay, and go to the map input. And if you change these around, you can change the uh, way the texture is going onto the object. You can change the offset and the size. You can even change it to a sphere, which does a little difference, not much. Just the way the uh, projection of the texture goes on. 
that's what all of this is and then you can change your uh, other objects okay and if you use just be, I don't know if it's, uh, if you would use Z invert for an alpha of zero you can try it and also I'm going to just show you uh, what tune would do to an alpha I just brought up all the tune okay you can see it almost just fades out the lines a little more all right uh you can also use uh the lights you can uh go to the lights panel and if you want you can go ahead and split the area and open i p o window and if you want to animate the light color changing or texture changing all you have to do is go down in the light panel and hit the i key in the empty space and you have all these things insert so oh and uh if you have your light selected and you want to see uh, your color and stuff changing go down to here and hit the lamp and this will give you all your things so move up a couple frames and change it insert them in now you can see it's changing when you render out the animation you'll see the color of the light changing all that stuff so but you might find this useful and uh, just keep trying stuff out and until next time, uh, just keep experimenting around and uh, seeing things out for yourself, okay?